So at one point, the only way to get 4K aerial footage was with one of these. Ugh, a DJI Inspire. But now, in 2018, the, the tables have turned and for, well, a quarter of the price of this, and definitely less than a quarter of the size, you can pick up one of these that'll do the exact same thing. Welcome to the Mavic Air in 2018. So this, guys, is the Mavic Air. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because, well, I'm not sure if you guys have seen, but recently, Argos, yes, they messed up, they really, really messed up, and accidentally leaked the Mavic Pro 2. Looks like it has a lens with optical zoom, which is really, really awesome, and that is set to come out in the near future, maybe along the lines with a Mavic Air 2, which might mean that this drone will drop down in price. Currently though, you can pick up this drone right here, the Mavic Air, for around 799 here in the UK. This is actually one from Slick Wraps, they custom wrapped it for us, and we're actually giving this drone away to one of you guys. But unfortunately, the giveaway has already ended. But if you guys want us to do more TechFlow giveaways, then uh, let us know with a like rating. So this is the Mavic Air. It is tiny, comes with this awesome carry case. This thing can literally fit in your pocket has a removable battery right here, which gives you, in my personal opinion, not what DJI are telling you, about 20 minutes of flight time actually hammering this thing. It has optical avoidance, so you have to be really, really, really stupid to crash this thing because it will literally stop itself from crashing into a tree. They've also, with these little legs, improved on the signal. Now, the old drones use actual RF, radio frequency, whereas this, these drones actually use Wi-Fi. With these drones, the Inspire using the radio frequency, you can get at least two miles, but with this, they say it's around two miles, I can't get more than one kilometer, which is like 0 0.7, 0 0.6 of a mile. But still, really impressive for such a small drone. I mean, it's the size of my face. Now we'll go out and take some photos and video with the drone a little bit later. But as soon as this is a complete overview, I'll show you guys what you get in the box. Some instruction manuals, we set those off to one side for now. And inside of here we will get, hopefully, our controller, which again has been wrapped in bumblebee yellow, much like the drone itself. Now another thing I love about this controller is the fact that, where's the thumbsticks? You can't actually see them. Well, they're conveniently hidden inside of here. So the thumbsticks are actually located in the bottom of the controller and you can take them out and screw them in here. Now don't worry, I've already lost a set of these little thumb screws in my actual original drone but uh, you get some spares in the box, which is super nice. And then these little grippy handles here, actually, believe it or not, aren't just nice grips for the controller. This actually grips your controller, which I don't know if you guys can just see in there, but there's actually a lightning port and there's a cable in the box to change that to a micro USB. So this is where you connect your phone to look at the live view and down feed from the drone. So you can change things like settings, shutter speed, start and stop recording, and all the actual settings of the drone itself. So here is what that little micro USB cable looks like in the box if you have an Android phone and you don't want to use this with the lightning connector. And then also in this box, included in the entire package, whether you've got the normal version or the Fly More combo, which comes with a couple extra batteries and an awesome charging dock, you get these uh, propeller guards, four of them to be exact, to go on the two front and the two back props, so that if you are a novice flyer, you won't rip your props in half. But if you do manage to do that, also included at the bottom of this box is a set of four extra props. So if you do have a little mishap, you can easily swap them out. However, guys, I really do highly believe that this drone right here, with its form factor, really competitive price point and 4K capabilities, is the best drone money can buy. Let's go out and test it, shall we?
So guys, welcome to my back garden, what I believe to be a perfect place for us to test out the Mavic Air, what I believe to be the best drone at the moment money can buy. I'm going to talk you guys through how simple this thing is to get up and in the air, and then throughout how simple it is, some of its advanced features. Really anybody could pick this up, even my grandma, and take off and get some epic shots. So essentially, I'll do this with you guys. We're going to unfold our props like this, very simple, and be sure to, on our two front props, undo our antennas. I'm going to take one of my three batteries here, plop it in the back and then I'm going to press once, press and hold and that is the drone started up. I'm going to let that do its boot sequence while I do the controller. So my thumbsticks guys that were originally down here, I've installed them in the controller. I'm going to again press once and then press and hold to start up the controller and then I'm going to attach my third party lightning cable I'm using a third party one because I like this cable, it's quite nice and thick and I think it's going to last a long time. And then I'm going to push that through there and then I'm going to go ahead and open the DJI GO application, DJI GO 4, connect the lightning cable and squeeze the phone into the grips of the controller. So as you can see guys, the drone is all set up. I've got the live view on my phone screen. As you can see in the top corner, it says ready to go GPS and we've got nine satellites. That means that if the controller was to lose signal to the drone or something happened, the drone would attempt to land back in this spot autonomously, no matter how far away the drone was. And essentially we can go ahead and we can switch between video mode here. We can click that and switch into photo mode. So now we could take a still or we could go back into video mode. And now the drone is recording, it's two fingers in like that, the props will start to spin, and then essentially... As you guys can see, it's really that easy to get up in the air and get some absolutely awesome shots. I've literally been flying for 2 minutes and 11 seconds and that's what I managed to get up there. As you can see, it's super, super, super steady and I can demonstrate that, say, if I even pick up the camera, you can see, well, just how steady it is with me holding it. So hopefully you guys can see here that, well, the camera stabilises itself really really cool so as you guys can see right here there's a tree in front of me i've got my throttle down here please stop please stop ah! there you go the drone has stopped itself from going forward one of its awesome safety features and the audible beep is telling me that alex there's something in the way just proof that these vision sensors work and it stopped itself from flying up there into the tree now let's talk about some fun features that noise is really annoying So what I want to go ahead and do here guys is go ahead and demonstrate how easy this drone is. You can even control the drone without controlling it. Now you're probably thinking Alex what the heck does that mean? Well if you click on this controller button here you're going to get numerous modes that come up and one of them is my active track mode. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is trace an object. Now the object is going to be me and now as you can see guys I'm going to go ahead and put the controller on the floor and I'm going to walk over here and the drone should follow me. There you go, look, how cool is that? It's really cool, isn't it? How wicked is that? Look, I'm off! Come on then, mate! Come on then, mate! <laughs> so as you can hear by this audible noise, that's telling me I've got a low battery. So what I'm going to do is do another one of my favourite techniques, the hand landing. Check this out. And then guys, when you finish flying, you can go ahead and, uh, well, quickly take out one of your batteries and hop swap in another one to get another 20 minutes of airtime, or 
you can fold the goddamn thing away and it will literally and people say this and people don't believe you but it will literally fit in your pocket is the best drone money can buy period so guys, there we go. We've just been outside to test out the Mavic Air. Let me know guys what you think of the quality of this drone down below. And the features, whether they're a little bit of a gimmick or you think they'd actually be useful. Are you guys a pilot and you want to take control yourself or do you want to let the drone do the work? Do you think it can do the job or not? Do you like the picture quality? Is it too overexposed? What about the photos with the HDR mode? You guys let me know, but there you go. That's been the Mavic Air. I think this thing is insane for the size of it. It will literally fit in my pocket. And with that being said, guys, you can uh, drop a like rating if you've enjoyed. Be sure to click that subscribe button right there. And uh, here's some relatable content. Oh, and we also reviewed DJI's smallest and cheapest drone, the Spark, and you can check that out right here. But for now, this has been TechFlow. Adios.